Hello everybody, welcome back to Elden Ring. In this one we're going to be dealing what we should probably be calling the Fortified Manor. Now I'm going to assume uh, that you have uh, continued along Rampart a little and already cleared out the Gargoyle. That's the wrong way. The wrong way. Uh, <laughs> continued along the Rampart a little and cleared out the Gargoyle um, and everything else that you want to do up here for now. Uh, obviously later on we'll be continuing on with all that stuff, but for now we're going to go ahead and we're going to do this... Um, I guess you'd say western, western area. Now the first thing we want to do, um, I mean, suppose you don't have to, this isn't really required, but there should be, we will look along the side here, where are we? If you want to see a lever, where are we now? Where are we? It's this one, this side. Uh, you'll, you'll know you're in the right place because um, it's above the gate that we were at earlier. And switching this lever uh, simply opens the gate. Uh, we went past this earlier. Uh, this isn't really a requirement, I don't think. Um, it just opens the gate and means that it's done, basically. Uh, so we should be able to see that, that gate down there. You can't really see very well. But the gate down there is now open, which is good. Um, we're going to go ahead and just going to drop off going to hurt us too much. Not too many enemies here, but there are um, a fair amount of dogs, so we need to be a little bit careful. Where are they anyway? don't know where they are. Are you in here? Yes. Excuse me. Hello. Trying to be cheeky. Where's the other one? There's more. There are more. There's one, there's one. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, if you're not if you're not going to come over, that is completely fine by me. We have another grace coming soon anyway, so we can quite happily expend FP and not be too worried about it. And the reason you want to come back up this way, and obviously you could come down from the route, it's up to you. Um, this way we've done the switch and we uh, we don't need to worry so much about the dogs, which is good. Ah, oh, we have more. Come on. Then. Um, we can go ahead and loot this into the building, which I believe is the only way into the building. Um, so this is kind of a hidden area that we're in now, which is kind of nice. Got some stuff to collect. Um, so, where was it? Um, there should be... Yeah, this is the way that we want to take down, or at least make sure you get this loot before you drop down to the next level. Get the sanctified whip blade, we get the hammer. Still more loot. So much more loot. Get the hero's room. Buy my sword. So it should all be looking rather familiar to everybody by now. Rune arc. Gideon's room. Oh, there's something in here, actually. Yeah, here we go. I'm calling moment, it's not that, not that good. <laughs> it's nice to have, I suppose, but you can make them so easily. Should be a painting in here somewhere. Which is the one I got confused about earlier, so uh, anybody that's been following the uh, the series may remember I thought there was an item near the, uh, near the um, Dominula village. The painting here is is what causes that to, to appear, so we'll be able to, be able to sort that out once we've, once we've tagged it. What else do we have? Uh, where is the painting? Oh, the painting's down there. We've got the Seed of Curse, that's good. Sort of key. I think we've got that as ready. No, I think that's our front actually, because it's on the on the jump off we need to take. So now uh, we want to go. Where's the way? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Back to the front table hold. So you can either uh, go down the stairs that we were at before, um, but if you've collected the smithing stone, you don't really need to. This is obviously where um, the finger calling lady would usually be. The two fingers deity, maybe you call that. Coded sword. I can't remember what that's for. It's important though to make sure you get it. 
Don't give you the dirt, done that, done that. Okay, sword. And then. Then, in terms of where that says. Coded sword. Yeah. And then now. Go down there. Which is where we're going to do uh, Bernal's invasion. Albrook's set looks really cool. Uh, I really wish the pointed hat had an effect that was maybe on a different set of spells similar to the hat we're wearing, but it doesn't. I think they really wanted frost spells to be uh, to be cool in this game. Yes, we've come to help you, sir. Errant sorcerer Wilhelm and raging wolf dude. I feel like the thing to be careful of here is we can actually affect. Uh, the person we're, we're cooperating with, so we need to be careful. Let's get rid of the mage, because you're probably the most dangerous thing here for him. No! Not good. We're going to lose this. I'm taking too long to kill you. There we go, right. This guy. Oh, it doesn't actually let, it, let us target him. Maybe it doesn't uh, let us target him then. It'll be handy if it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Okay, that's good. <laughs> I know in normal PvP you can hit your uh, hit your teammates, so we need to be careful of that. Well, there we go. Really wasn't too bad. And now we get the uh, the box art armor set. Quite well hidden, actually. It means you need to do it through him. So next up, then, we want to come through this door on the opposite side. Don't think there's anything through this one. Let's double check. I think this is just where you drop off the stairs. Yeah, here we go. Drop off the stairs. Oh, there is stuff here. Better not forget those. Ah, yeah, definitely don't forget that. <laughs> Almost forgot the prayer book. That would have haunted me for the rest of my days. Come here. So this side now cleared. And that's why in my notes I said to drop off those stairs then. <laughs> Instead of coming over the balcony. Okay. Well, that's done now. Now I can come over this way. Take the left. Get this on the way in or out. We'll be coming out the same way anyway. We haven't had the grace yet. Where's the grace? I think we're close to it now. Here we go. Thank you. We should probably go and grab that now. I think about it. Right, I think it's here. If I'm if I'm wrong, I'm gonna look silly, but I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure it's there. I don't mind. If we look a little silly, it's fine. Nope, doesn't like it is. I was wrong. Excuse me. Nope, I was right. It is here. Ooh, fire service in. <laughs> uh, so back to where we were. Where, where were we? 45 minutes first floor. It's kind of convenient they put that there. And then... I think it's a door. Right, so we want to go... Um, I can't see. Why can't I see? Come here. It's like fires near and everything. Could have made it a little lighter for me. 
There should be a... Is it a door? I forgot to do a jump. Should be a door. Ah, here it is. I wonder what that level's for. I don't remember. Right, so we're gonna have Iron Maiden thing ahead of us. Let's be ready. Excuse me, but no! Nobody likes your antics. I really need more stamina. Oh man, it's really starting to affect me. Maybe we should wear the Erd tree. Should wear the Erd tree. How much is that going to give me? Extra. Extra seven. That's like the crazy thing is that's like mega amounts of levels more stamina. And there's another one there. So be careful. Can you clip through this? You almost can. I can. <laughs> I wonder if we can. I wonder if we can grab through the wall. That'd be hilarious if we can. This is kind of funny. Oh, it tries. I'm surprised it's not coming around. Usually the pathing is better than that. I'll take that. Thank you. We're pretty safe around here now, which is good. I don't think there's too much else. So we've come to the end. There should be some loot at the end of the, the pathway. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need to remember the names of stuff as long as we get everything, right? That's what I tell myself. And then I think this um, takes us to where the big giant was, where we got the blessed uh, amulet thing from. I can't remember if we've killed it with this character already or not. If we haven't, we should kill it now. We'll kill it now, if it's still alive. This is the problem with having multiple playthroughs on the go at once. I can't remember who's done what. It is still alive. Okay, we'll kill this guy. Just because there's basically no reason not to. And we should now be at uh, the kind of level where it's it's a reasonable thing to do anyway. Just because I can't remember where it goes, let's try this portal. This is... Oh! Oh right, this is for activating runes. Isolated Divine Tower. Can't get in there yet anyway. Okay, that's no use to us right now. That's why I can't remember. Uh, so 45 mana, we already cleared in the garden, which is good. So next up we want to clear out this way, yes. Right, so for the final stretch of the area that we're in right now, then we go left. I don't think the dogs will, will aggro. 
I'm a little concerned that one looks like it is. I don't want it to chase me. Yeah, I think we're okay. I think it's patrolling. So we can sneak around this way to start with. Um, we've got two enemies here. The one on top should drop us a... Uh, that's really not helped. That auto aggroing of yours is infuriating. Alright, there we go. So we'll bring this guy into here. And we'll fight under the cover of the barn. Even though being in here with all this tightness is uh, to his advantage. Oh man. Excuse me. Oh man. Whoa! I didn't know you just like spam it like five times. Come on. <laughs> oh, now the dog is gonna aggro. Sure. Right. Get off. Oh, that was the seal. Oh, I thought the other guy gave us the seal. Frickin' Archerman, you made, you made that entire encounter disgusting. You're gonna come off now, are you? Ah, okay. Like that, is it? At least you're not one of the back flippy ones. There you go. I don't mind going over killing you. I could have popped the physic there, I suppose, if I'd have wanted to make it a little easier on myself, but we're okay. Right, so uh from here we come up this way. We don't go all the way to the top, we can drop off on here. Is the loot on here? No. I know, the, I know the loot's on the other side. I was just checking on there. So now we want to go across the claw onto this. Um, this is really weird to describe. So there is like a little beam and it's just above where the hat ends. And I'm standing still, right? It's like right there. Kind of like get there. So like the tip of the hat is pointing at it. It's kind of in the shadow. And we want to land on that beam as best we can. This is kind of an annoying jump. You want to do it right at the last second and you've got to land on that beam. We hit it there but we didn't quite stay on it. So you've got to kind of jump and then take your finger off of the analog stick or whatever it is you're using to drive yourself forward so that you basically stay on that beam. So we can do this a bit more skillfully this time. Nope, still missed it. I'm going to try it one more, one more time live with you guys, then we'll skip to the successful jump, because it's a pain in the ass. And it is only for, um, I believe anyway, a stone sword key, so there's plenty of these around that if this is annoying you, you're not going to die if you're not getting it. God damn. Okay, lo and behold, fourth try. Uh, straight on there, and then we can jump on inside. Grab the smithing stone. And stone sword key. Here we go. Drop out. That's that bit done. Uh, cool thing is, that is um, most of the zone done. I think I think we'll go underground a little bit. I think that's what I'm going to do. So we'll go to the uh, lower capital church, which we got in the previous episode. Uh, because we've got like six, seven minutes available. We'll go to the next... Um, the next Sandy Grace that's just under in the, in the underground area. Um, hopefully, I can remember my way. Uh, this is a bit of a labyrinth, as you might imagine. I'm confident we'll be fine. Hands all over this first. Let's go. Come here, handy hands. We can see you. Trying to remember which way I went first. <laughs> this is another one. Is look at your notes, Joe. You have notes. I'm like, yeah, maybe I do, maybe I don't. Right, you get the bow out because that's the only one that will reach. Drop something like this on the ground and then start pumping out a little of this. Come on, man. 
Don't you know what damage is? Come on. <laughs> Go down. The mist didn't do enough there, really, did it? I didn't realize how far away you could cast that. That's way more range than those things, those kind of abilities usually have. So that's that. I um, don't think there's any false walls or anything here. No. Where did you aggro from? So with both of those little prongs done. Are you a bit stuck there? <laughs> <laughs> Someone's mounted a rat head on the wall. Um, right. Where are you? Uh, that's the way we came from. We don't need to go down there at all. Right now. Is it just the butterflies down here? I think it is. Let's just kind of show you this stuff on the other side. We'll be around there in a minute. Excuse me! No! I do not like your cat at all. Strange that you're leashed there. I'll take it. I actually don't know where that is. Like, where, where would you be crossing? Oh, it's the back end of there. Okay, okay. And is there anything up there? There is the Erd Steel Dagger. Drop down to a pit. Rook statue, and it will be on a corpse. Oh, no, no, no. I think that's, that's actually where we are. <laughs> so, no, we're not actually going to miss anything, which is good. Erd Steel Dagger. Good, nice. Uh, this hasn't taken me to where I want to go, though. I guess we'll, we'll go down the well. That's got to be the other side, right? So we'll go over here. Down here. Mm-hmm. This takes us into the underground. Now then, is this where I think we are? Yes. Uh, give me the lantern for a minute. Let my memory refresh itself. Ah, uh, not yet, not yet. Dirty rats everywhere though. Excuse me. You're not supposed to have flanking mechanics, you're a rat. Uh do I recognize that room? Can't remember if I do. Excuse me. What's with the rats having like mega skills? <laughs> Yeah, there's the, um, there's the item I was saying about earlier, when, uh, when the capital changes, we'll drop down onto that, it's going to be an amulet. I think it's like Crimson Amulet plus two, something like this. Uh, anyway there, we really don't need to face him if you don't want to, literally just on our left is a Grace, which is what I'm down here for. Uh, we're not going to progress this area, you can if you want to, um, it is a little bit hellish, these guys are, uh, in my opinion, anyway, a little, bit, a little bit obnoxious. I'm not a fan of them. Whoa, they do way too much damage at this stage of the game. And they have, they are tanky. <laughs> Stop it.
Damn it, I'm out of faith. It's gonna kill me. No! I don't like those skulls. I hate how quick they recover after that as well. That's like a really high damage in uh, ability. They just recover immediately. That's right, Neil. <laughs> okay, so that's all that done. Is there anything else we need to pick up right now? Oh yeah, one thing we can check. Um, Beans were talking about being underground here. We should go and make sure that we have got the um, jail key from Dung Eater. So the guy in red um, that is past Gideon's office, which means should be this side. Uh, once you've got Seedbed Curse in your inventory, we should talk to him and he should give us his key. And I can't remember if we've done that already, so if you haven't, now is a good time to come speak to this guy. You have felt the yeah, here we go. Was a brief hour untrapped in this... That is his key, which allows us to um, allows us to progress his quest line down in the sewer. I think we already have like three of them, so we really aren't far from finishing his um, kind of collectible quest either. Uh, and that, as we see, is that for this episode. So we have done this area, we have done this area, apart from obviously we haven't done underground, but that's going to wait. We've done most of this bit. Which means all that's left is the Colosseum. Uh, which isn't, which isn't going to take us long. And the roots, which take us to Godfrey. I'm kind of tempted to do all that after the boss. Because it's like, a, it's, a, it's a spirit boss, I don't think it's the real one. Um... I mean, there's a bit of a there. There's a boss up here. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, we'll progress in the next episode. I don't quite know how it's going to be structured yet, but we'll we'll work on it. Either way, catch you guys again soon.